What is up? What's going on, guys? Trizzle here, tuning in, bringing you guys another great war recap. I know it's been a long time since I've dropped a regular video instead of uh, our live streams, but life gets busy sometimes, and it is the holiday season. But we've had a lot of great things happening in the clan, lots of new members, and of course, Legion of Doom doing what it does, taking ass, kicking names. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's go. Uh, so here we have a, I think it was a Chinese clan, and uh, they actually gave us a pretty good war. Um, but coming down to the wire, we do what we do, um, and of course, we pull out that W. Um, so just kind of showing how the war ended up winning, uh, ended up going, I should say. Um, they had a, a pretty good setup um, when it was all said and done. Uh, they were able to get 57 points against our clan, um, but we were able to edge them out, getting that extra star to get that W. I'm not going to waste too much time running my mouth, but I am going to get into some of these three-star attacks. Um, of course, starting with... Uh, well, actually, last war was a little bit prettier, but you guys saw that on the live stream, um, so I'm not going to spend too much time on that, um, but I am definitely going to show you the, the three stars that we've had. Um, so, I believe... This might have been a bully attack. Um, yeah, so probably nothing too special about that. Um, I will zip through it just because um, it was a three star. But 12v11, coming in with a little Electro Dragloon. Hashtag El Chapo, El Drago. Um, Y'all know what it is. Make sure you guys check out that Town Hall 11 three star tutorial that I made a couple months ago on Electro Dragons. Uh, if you guys want to know how to use this army effectively. Very, very strong army. Um, very... Uh, I'm not going to say OP, um, but on the right base, it is very three-star capable. Um, those of you that watch Galadon's videos, uh, like he says, if Galadon can three, then the strategy is OP. Um, but there you have it, T-Rizzle, uh, my brand new Town Hall 12, new to the clan. We definitely needed a little bit of help, um, with the exception of my main clan, but that's how it is sometimes. Um, so here you had T-Rizzle going in on another... Um, actually, this was, I don't even know if I see an eagle, so I kind of feel bad playing this uh, this particular attack, but it was a three star, so we're going to zip through it, um, get it on that four times speed, um, going in with a little Jai Wee bow, um, and of course the base gets wreck faced. Um, I am going to be doing a special live stream, um, as always on Sunday, but with the update coming out, things are going to get interesting. Um, we've got ice golems on the way, bat spells. Uh, stone smashers um, things are about to get rowdy especially for ground attack so I'm excited to see that um, and we'll see how things play out um, but here we actually have a 11 v 10.5 I want to say um, I don't recall seeing an eagle on this particular base um, so we'll probably not spend too much time on it but it was a three star nevertheless um, and we were able to um, again edge out this clan um, pretty solid clan um, but you got to play to win guys and a uh, Legion of Doom does not mess around There's one thing I love so 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 proud of, uh, of our clan members um, we really are an adult clan and Everybody's busy. Everybody's got lives um, We've got tons of stuff going on especially around this time of the year But we still find time to do what we do and flex those muscles uh, Letting them the clans know that we're not messing around now a couple of these were uh, semi bully well I wouldn't say they're semi bully attacks but you know when you've got dip attacks you know 12 v 11 11 v 10 um, probably not the most exciting in the world so I didn't want to spend too much time on it but we'll just zip right through it um, home record going in on this town hall 10 uh, with that same electro drag loon um, and it's so strong guys all you need to do um, is try to take out the air defense with your kill squad um, if you can get an air defense or two, or an air defense and an eagle, say goodnight to that base, because um, it is definitely not going to be able to stand up. Now, with that being said, um, you know, this clan actually, it was a pretty solid clan. Um, I'm not going to lie, um, not many clans actually take us to the, the distance in terms of bringing us through the full war, but the ones that do make it interesting. Um, so I definitely appreciate, you know, when we have good competition, um, and look at that angle on that wall wrecker. Um, home wrecker coming in on this base. And I, I it's funny because that wall wrecker took down that entire row of walls uh, just because of the angle he released the, the wall wrecker. Uh, but here he is going in uh, from the bottom right hand side of the base. 
um, easily gets in there, takes out you know what is a pretty developed Town Hall 10. Um, not a, a solid, um, not a bad base um, in terms of development. Not so sure about that layout, but hard to say because it is an 11v10, um, and obviously that's uh, that's a little bit unfair if you know what I'm talking about. Um, so here we had Punisher going in on their number eight, and you know what? I don't even know if I should play this attack because this is like a 9.5 um, for uh, the sake of the. Uh, uh, of the clan members, you know, everybody's got to get their time to shine. Um, I will zip through it, but um, it is a, an 11v, I guess 9.5. Um, I didn't see any infernos, um, but that's how it is sometimes. Um, you gotta play the game to win wars, guys. And what that means is being strategic with how you organize your war attacks, um, attacking your mirror. Um, if your clan is still using mirror attacks, then heaven help you. Um, I don't even know how you'd be um, winning wars or getting any type of accolades, any type of uh, win streaks, um, because when it's all said and done, um, we are approaching, we're not quite there yet, we're actually closer to 450 war wins as opposed to 500 war wins, but um, it takes a long time to get 100 war wins. Um, even if you're warring back to back, that's what, 200 days? Um, and that's the better part of a year, guys. So. Our clan is approaching 450 war wins, um, which if you think about it, that is a long time to be winning. Um, of course, with clan war leagues, um, we're also doing well in that. But um, you know, we definitely are on our road to getting that level 16 um, badge as well as getting the 450 war wins. Um, so most of these uh, hits, well, a few of these hits, I should say, especially up top, did end up being uh, what you would consider dip attacks. Um, but nevertheless, you know, you still gotta again clear those bases to win the war. Um, and hey, that's how it is sometimes. Um, that's kind of why I'm zipping through a lot of these uh, attacks up front. Um, not because I know um, it makes it easier to watch the attacks, um, but because I am well aware that you know some of the dip hits really it's not a great showcase of skill and ability. Um, and this is more so to give everybody the recognition because uh, if you did three star, you know, you deserve a shout out. Um, so easily taking care of this Town Hall 9 uh, with my early Town Hall 10. Um, Triz, actually up and coming, um, is just now starting to uh, be a, a, a Town Hall 10 capable, uh, Town Hall 10 I should say in terms of attacking. Um, but here we had Dennis using the tried but true Wit Slap coming in on the south east I guess uh, southwest side of the base or the bottom left for those of you that uh, don't know your north south east west um, goes in um, of course with witch slap if you don't know how to do this attack by now I don't know where you've been for the last year and a half but please make sure you check out the three star tutorial section on the channel uh, for instructions on how to execute this attack and how to be successful with it on max bases in war very important guys um, those of you that watch the channel know that I have a ton of stuff um, on the three star tutorial section, but if you're not utilizing it, hey, um, you might not be as good as attacker as the people on our clan. Um, not trying to throw shade or talk shit, but facts are facts, guys, and numbers don't lie. So great job, Dennis, taking out that max town hall nine, nine v nine triple, um, and let's keep on going. Uh, Dennis pulling out the six pack this war. Shout out to D Reezy um, going in on the top right hand side of the base again tried but true witch slap very strong attack even with the nerf to the witches it is still highly capable guys of course the higher your heroes the the easier it's going to be uh to dominate uh, a given base but depending on how the layout is um you're just going to tweak either bringing two instead of one jump spell um and then substituting that rage so you would have two rages one heal one jump on certain bases and then two jumps, one rage, one heal on the rest. Um, so great job. And next we have my Town Hall 9, um, hashtag Minerva to the rescue, um, taking out uh, their Town Hall 9, uh, their number 13. Um, and I, I don't want to be a broken record, but if it works, it works. And uh, that is the definition of Witch Slap, hence why you're seeing all these Witch Slap triples uh, going in. Um, of course, pretty decent base layout. Um, I will say that that base might have been OP like a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago with that old meta, um, but with the dominance um, of those level 30 heroes, along with the bowlers and the CC, very little can stand up to a witch slap army. 
um, and, and I'm finding that it doesn't always have to be an open base. So here we've got Anthony, which is the Punisher, shout out to your boy, coming in on their number 14, um, pretty much an 8.5, but again, you gotta clear those bases, guys. Uh, so he comes in from the top right-hand side, using that good old school witch slap, um, is able to more or less um, wreck face, um, and that's to be expected. Um, we had a little bit of a, an interesting development with the Electro Dragon kind of wandering around, but luckily it does track over to that queen eventually, um, and she's able to uh, take it out. Um, I actually had an attack this war where um, I wasn't quite so lucky. The Electro Dragon decided to go in the opposite direction, take out pretty much the one part of my army, um, and then just completely stayed away from my queen until it was too late. So um, I will say this, if you have um, a Town Hall 9 in war, it might not be a bad idea to have that offset CC with that Electro Dragon in there um, because it is extremely strong. Um, so here we've got Adam going in with a little cold-blooded La Loon. Um, and this is a little bit of an old school attack. Um, those of you that have been playing the game for more than three or four years know the strength of Shattered and Cold-Blooded Lalo. Um, definitely strong attacks, definitely worth knowing how to execute. Um, but um, Adam it is up and coming and look at those heroes. Level 17 Queen, level 16 King. And I know it's not really high, but in the grand scheme of things, Adam has not been a Town Hall 9 for a super long time. Um, and he's been making some progress. So great job, Adam. Well done. Um, so on to the next one. Um, here we've got Mike W's second account, Who's Your Daddy? Um, and coming in on their number 16, pretty much a very weak Town Hall 9. Um, I don't know why people build accounts like these. It's not even an engineered account. It's just a rush defense account, which is odd because he's put a lot of time in into his walls. So maybe they're trying to manipulate the war weight, maybe not. But when you're coming in with a Bogo Ho attack, level five hogs, um, level 15 queen, um, there's not a whole lot that's gonna stand up to that, um, even with a good base design. Um, so easily takes out the base um, with a heal spell to swag. Um, so great job, Mike. Hashtag, who's your daddy? Love that name. Let's get it. All right, so another three star in the bag. And as we move down the map, we start getting into, of course, the Town Hall 8s. ATL, which is Adam's second account, doing what he does. Coming through with a little Town Hall 8 Drag Loon. Of course, you don't need that Earthquake spell. You know, that was many, 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 many moons ago. Um, but those of you that take breaks from the game might not be aware of this, but you don't need that Earthquake spell anymore. Uh, so goes in, um, takes care of business, easily wrecking face on this base, gets that triple. Um, not that Town Hall 8 is that exciting, but it is a necessary pit stop as you work your way up the ladder. Um, and it really starts getting your foundation laid for understanding phased attacks, um, understanding the importance of pulling the CC, how you need to approach bases. Um, and that makes sense. As you progress through the game, it gets progressively, um, uh, it ramps up, not just in terms of difficulty, but in terms of your ability, certain concepts. Um, so good job, Adam. And again, rinse, wash, repeat on base number 18, with the little Dragloon takes out that air defense with the little zap um, and then comes in on the other side trying to attack into the other two remaining air defense ASAP using that rage to sweep into the air defense um, he's gonna try to freeze the two air defense freeze the two air defense or does he clutch it um, I can't remember let's go ahead and zip through it no he doesn't end up using it so obviously he could have gotten um, a lot more out of this army not that I think it might, maybe one dragon died. No, no, maybe two dragons died and the loons um, didn't make it. Um, but um, at the very end, another dragon died. So had he frozen the uh, air defense at the beginning, there's a very strong chance he would have had almost his entire army up. Because um, I can guarantee, you know, with those air defense being that close together, uh, that freeze would have gotten a very high value. Um, so here we've got Jamie B going in on their number 19. Um, well upgraded air defense but the rest of the base is very much town hall seven and jamie's able to exploit that uh comes in takes care of business of course town hall eight dragloon very powerful guys if you haven't mastered this attack i don't know where you've been for the last five years but 
you need to stop slacking on your pimp and pimping and do what you gotta do. Um, I do have a tutorial on this army. Um, unfortunately, I made it um, a while back, so it's probably 2000. 16 meta um, where you had to use the earthquake um, so if you watch that video just make sure you sub out that earthquake for a max free spell um, that you request um, or you're more than welcome to bring an extra poison or even a haste um, whatever floats your boat so I don't really want to show the last attack it was a, a town hall 9 versus a very very low base um, so nothing really to write home about but there you have it guys Legion of Doom, um, and this clan was, did it say it was location? Oh, it's Chinese. Um, you know how those, uh, those Chinamen are. Um, and in fact, it came very close on three-star in this base. Um, not that I want to give this base away, but you'll notice that it is a 12 v 11. Holds up with that two-star fail. I don't know if you ran out of time, but that's got to burn that 99% two star. Uh, I guess it's better than a 99% one star, but hey, um, who's counting stars? Um, but with that being said, um, I want to let you guys know that I'm going to try to get back on my grind. I've got a lot of uh, video ideas that I started putting together, but work has just been so busy. Um, so I do apologize if I've left you guys in the dark, but I have stayed consistent with my streaming. So make sure you check us out every Sunday night, guys. We do a monthly gift card giveaway. Um, I actually did a, a, um, a raffle. Um, so there's a lot of different ways that you can benefit from supporting the channel. Um, in addition to having a good time, um, I do base visits. I give a lot of help and advice. And with the update coming up very soon, uh, you're gonna see some great, great update discussion um, as well as new tips and hints. So stay tuned for that. Um, with that being said, I appreciate you guys watching the video all the way to the end. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button, bang that notification bell, and let's do what we do, Trizzle tuning out. Have a good night, guys.